look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? <sighs> you see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? <sighs> that would be wonderful! There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. One boy patrols near some concrete pipes. One girl likes to do her patrols in public areas with lots of people. One boy spends most of his time checking out the shops. One girl loves to be fussed over by folks at the community center. One boy likes to stand guard at the town gate. And don't forget, they all wear homemade swords on their backs. Thanks again for agreeing to help you guys. Lovely, don't you think? Great job. It's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking towards your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. One boy patrols near some concrete pipes. One girl likes to do her patrols in public areas with lots of people. One boy spends most of his time checking out the shops. One girl loves to be fussed over by folks at the community center. One boy likes to stand guard at the town gate. And don't forget, they all wear homemade swords on their backs. Thanks again for agreeing to help you guys. You all right? 
Feel free to come back anytime and enjoy the flowers. You brought us such lovely flowers. Thank you. Feel free to come back anytime and enjoy the flowers. Right? Can I ask you a super important question? I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. Is that true? Who knows? But isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? <gasps> I forgot about Miss Molia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! Sunshine on a cloudy day. Some end up working for that Don Corneo. You could see the stars. Some youngster going around looking at candy is on the road. He changed so much after his parents passed away. Oh, here for a checkup? <laughs> goes the patrol there's a lot more people on the streets than usual maybe because the reactor blew up well you've been keeping a very sharp lookout but don't you think you're forgetting something important oh miss foley of lessons i gotta get back to the house A reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are gonna have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Miss Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! Well, 
shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. As the children we interviewed earlier today... If you learn your ABC, I'm sorry. You can read any the children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him! The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. <sighs> I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. I'm sorry we had to give you such a dangerous job, but there's really no one else we could have asked. You're our only hope. I can't believe I forgot all about the lesson. I really... Moggy's kind of interesting, huh? He's weird, but he makes everyone around him really happy. You'll see. I'll make sure to tell everyone around that you're here to help out. That way, you might get more work. There's a lot of problems we can't fix because we're just kids. And that's where you come in.
try to stay behind you. That way I can cover your back. See ya. Yeah. Let's go. Guess I got him. No holding back. That's that. It's over. See ya. That it? Get back. I can fight too, you know. Here we go. <laughs> That's that. Was never in doubt. I try to stay behind you. That way I can cover your back. Enough. Go on! That's that. Nothing to it. This 
idea. <laughs> Moving on then. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the King and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes! Yes, Miss Folia! I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. <sighs> Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired-looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help.
there's a lot of problems we can't fix because we're just kids. And that's where you come in. Oh, hey, Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. Well, what do you think? Do I have what it takes?
Wanna play some Whack-A-Box? Well, what do you think? Do I have what it takes? Come back when you wanna smash stuff! Whenever you want to play. Yeah! 
this over with. So long. Yeah! <laughs> 
sorry. Yes! We'll be here whenever you feel like playing. Wanna play some Whack-A-Box? Whenever you want to play. Yes! <laughs> 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 
one way to become a whack a box master. Whack, whack, whack. Good to see you, Koopa. A pleasure as always, Koopa. to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town. Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ugh. That rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the Merc of the Hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. Welcome any and all information pertaining to the so-called Angel of the Slums. I'm sure the locals know much, much more than they're letting on. Unmasking the Angel would be a huge scoop. And my editor would pay an immodest sum for the story, to say the least. I'll welcome any and all information pertaining to the so-called Angel of the Slums. What's that? The guardian angel of the slums? Come to think of it, a reporter came sniffing around asking about her. You his man? Huh. Even if I knew something, I wouldn't tell you. To folks around here, the angel is a hero. I ain't selling her out to Shinra. Oh, can't believe you can get paid to dig up people's secrets. Even a bandit makes a more honest living than that reporter. Oh, can't believe you can get paid to dig up people's secrets. Even a bandit makes a more honest living than that reporter. Good times. I hear all these stories about mercenaries. How do you know he's not a fool? Young man, are you a soldier? What? Do I know the guardian angel of the slums? Well, I don't know much, but I do know she doesn't steal from the poor, and she doesn't kill anyone either. As far as I'm concerned, that's all I need to know. If that's not enough for you, the one you ought to talk to is Mireille. Ask anyone, and they'll tell you she knows everything about everyone around here. If I were you, I'd talk to Mireille. If anyone knows anything, it'd definitely be her. If I were you, I'd talk to Marais. 
If anyone knows anything, it'd definitely be her. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Hmm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the whispered word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? The guardian angel of the slums? Such a mysterious figure, always talked about, but never seen by anyone. The angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. <gasps> Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. I'm sorry we didn't have any useful information to share. Is that all you needed? If you want to hear about the latest rumors, I'd be happy to share. I'm sorry we didn't have any useful information to share. Is that all you needed? If you want to hear about the latest rumors, I'd be happy to share. How are you doing, dear? I'm looking for a book on planetology. Years ago, when I came to Midgard... This here's the Sector 5 Community Center. Really? Just wait outside with the reporter. I'll be along soon. I thought we'd put those days of war and death so, behind So, any news? But Have you tried I talking to Mireille at all? Long. She told us that she had some information to share. Really? Mireille? As in THE Mireille? The town gossip? I chased her for days, begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. 